Hello everyone, welcome back to our randomizer challenge. So it looks like today is a bad luck day. We're also having our copper axe upgraded as well. So I think the only thing we can do today is fish. Unfortunately, y'all know how I feel about fishing in this series. I'm going to start with watering and farm chores so I can procrastinate fishing for as long as I can. It is also salmon berry season, so I will definitely be scavenging for as many berries as I can get my filthy little hands on. I will be thieving all of Pelican Town's natural resources for my own personal gain. Yup, yup. <laughs> Just girly things. Why did I buy so many crops to water, honestly? We also have some worms here. And we've got a rusty spur. Well, that's useless. We've already donated it. Thanks, game. Only three more days on our cold veggie berries, though. <sighs> Exciting. I can't wait to see how they look fully grown. They already look so cool. Okay, watering is done. We have so many salmon berries on the farm, so I'm just going to grab all of these quickly. I got all the forage I could from the farm, so now we are going to head off and do a little spot of fishing, probably up near the mountain lake. Also, I will continue to scavenge. Of course I will. It's me. The most soul-destroying thing is digging up a library book. So sad. You get all excited for some worms. Oh, what artifact is this going to be? And it's a blooming library book. Every time. My soul is never prepared for it. Okay, let's get fishing. I have a goal to hit level 5 fishing today. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, we got the mother catch achievement. Let's go. I don't even know what that is. Is that like different types of fish, I think? Like you've caught like 25 different types of fish or something? Mayhaps. Honestly, I just hate the fish in this mod. <laughs> It's so hard. I'm being such a brave girl right now doing fishing because it's real hard. <laughs> I feel like this mod is making me realize how dramatic I am, potentially. We leveled up. Let's go. I'm well proud of us. We are halfway to level 10 now, which we obviously need for the legendaries. Only problem being that we need it by the end of spring. And um, we don't have much left of spring if we're being honest with ourselves. To be fair, I don't need to get the spring legendary to complete it because I think you only needed like three out of four or four out of five or something. So as long as we get all the other ones, we don't need to get the spring one. So that's something to bear in mind at least. We can still complete that bundle even if we miss the spring legendary. It just would be better to get it, you know, because I feel like the winter legendary is always the hardest. But who knows with randomizer, who knows what it will be like. <laughs> I want to run down to Gus's real quick and just check if he's selling any of the recipes we need. And then I might finish up with some fishing in the town. Was this the last day of salmonberry season, by the way? I think it might have been. Oh, that's pretty sad. I should save some salmon berries just in case they're needed for a bundle on the bulletin board or something. I know in remixed bundles they're needed for like the child's bundle, I think. So truly, who knows if they're going to be needed or not. Okay, Gus, open up. What do we have for sale today? A Clementine Pepper Hot Pot. I don't think they're needed. Well, that's good to know. Oh my god, look at Vincent. <laughs> it's just so wrong. How did they make Shane Vincent? Terrible choice, that. Okay, we are feeling exhausted. I feel like that is a good spot to head home. We do have a full inventory of fish as well, so I'm going to sell all of these. And I kind of forget what we're saving for. I know we wanted to buy a tree sapling, I'm pretty sure. So maybe that's what we're saving for right now. I think that was 9,000 though. So we need to like double what we have. Aside from that, I don't really know what we're saving for. Let's head straight to bed. We'll be able to get our axe in the morning as well. Oh yeah, we get to choose a profession for level 5 fishing. We're obviously going to go with fish are worth 25% more because of course that is the better option here. So fish will now sell for more. Let's go. I don't know if that includes these fish. Hopefully it did. I don't think it did. No, it didn't. Oh, that stinks. I should have kept them and sold them tomorrow. Oh, well, you live and you learn. I probably should know that already, though, because I have played over 2000 hours of this game. <laughs> and our copper racks is ready. We do have the merchant in town. I'm obviously going to head down and see her. See if she's got any wares for us to purchase. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at the cold veggie berries. They look so different. What the butts? Ew, they looked way cuter before. And today is a neutral lock day. I kind of would like to go mining, to be honest. I really want to get down to floor 60. I don't think we've reached it yet because I know there's a fish we need to catch down there. We do need to get down to the lava levels because I think there's a fish we need to catch there as well. And yeah, salmon berry season is over. At least we have like 60 remaining salmon berries in our pocket. I've got to remember not to use them all though. 
Ooh, dad gave us 500 gold. Thanks, dad. What a babe. And Robin wants a coffin joe for a recipe. I don't even know what one of those is, Robin, but okay. I shall accept your request. <laughs> no idea what she's talking about, but okay, sure. Oh yeah, we also need to get down to the ice levels to get white algae because we want to make some tapas soon. Anything else we could be making? Maybe a bee house we should try and make? Void essence, torch and quartz. I also still don't know if we're going to need animals or not. So far we don't. Okay, off to see the merchant now. Hello, are you selling anything of worth? Oh, I think we do need a coconut potentially, but a thousand is a lot for that. Oh, a sprinkler for 700. Oh, isn't this what Robin wanted? A coffenjo? I think it is. Should I get it? Will she give me more than 500? I don't know. And the snap synth is needed as well, but I feel like I should get those seeds in summer or whatever. I would feel quite optimistic that I would get those, but I guess who knows? I think there's nothing here really of worth, so I'm going to leave it for now. We may have regrets about that in time. I don't know. Only time will tell for that one. And let's run quickly and grab our axe from Clint and then up to the mines. Thanks, Clint. Copper axe. Let's go. We can now break hardwood. Oh, we got a shad. Wait, that's so good. This is needed in multiple bundles. I'm going to go and quickly donate that. That's such a good find. It pays to click on bins. Oh my god. Alex, babes. <laughs> this is really disturbing. To be quite honest though, Alex has never looked better. Sorry for any Alex lovers out there. Okay, I'm going to donate it to a desert fish bundle. It's also needed in the rain bundle too, but I feel like we're going to complete the desert fishing bundle first. That was a good little find. Okay, it is mining time. Let's go. Trying to reach level 60 today. Gotta remember to always collect torches as well because they're needed for a lot of recipes. They're very worth collecting. Mines is going slow today. We've only made it down like four floors i think so far so it's definitely slow progress but progress nonetheless of course neutral lux are definitely noticeable though okay can we make it to 60 we're on the final floor now yay a ghost dropped us a ladder let's go oh my god what is that a white iron of life uh it looks like a hammer <laughs> it's a club Oh my god, it's only level 2 though. It does like not much damage at all. Grumble, grumble. When will I get a good weapon? Okay, one more floor and we did it. We're now at 65. Let's go. Okay, nice. We made some good progress today in the mines. And we can still go home early enough that we won't pass out. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get anything needed for community center. But like there's not much we can get right now, I don't think. A lot of it is just waiting for the new season, which sucks. I could definitely sort through this chest at some point and sell a bunch of this stuff to be honest because there's a lot of random stuff we're holding on to but at the same time I'm like slightly worried that something might be needed later and I don't want to have sold it you know so I'm just keeping hold of everything for now how much money did we make today not much <laughs> not much at all but it's fine every little helps every little helps day 20 of spring oh my gosh and it's a really good luck day today so I should go mining again <laughs> can you tell I just love the mines I do I do and our cold veggie berries will be ready tomorrow that is exciting and our lime pears in two days will be ready we'll have to see if we get a gold quality one of those because that's what we're waiting for we are in need of a gold quality one for the community center okay let's get a nice and early start off to the mines this morning okay down to 65 let's see how far we can make it today i would hope to hit maybe the lava floors today oh my god what the heck this just dropped out of a ghost that's terrifying. <laughs> a mulcarel just dropped out of a ghost. I actually feel uh, slightly uncomfortable at that. Gross. Oh no, we have an infested floor. <gasps> Stop. Oh no, it's infested on floor 69. Of course it is. Of course. Isn't that just so nice? Okay, well I'm going to try and take it, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> what are these? What? in the heck <laughs> steel sandals of conquest it's the height of country drumsticks what does that even mean i'm putting them on they look so funny i love them i don't even know if they're better than our other ones but i have to wear them they're iconic <laughs> A way down has appeared and we got a magnet ring. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Finally, our first ring. I was hoping for a better weapon from that slime, but a magnet ring is fine. And we got a master slingshot. Okay. 
Okay, it's always a humbling experience getting a slingshot. It's just like I do not care about that item at all. Okay, we made it to 70. Can we go any further? I bloomin' hope so. We've only made it down five floors on a good luck day. That's a bit rubbish. Okay, 75. Let's go. Dump everything off and we're gonna keep going. I feel like maybe we can get to 80 if we speed along. We gotta be speedy. Okay, we're on to 78 now. I swear the skeletons are so much faster than usual. Do they usually walk this fast? They're so creepy. We got the ladder though. Let's go. Quick little salmonberry snack break. <laughs> and down we go. Okay, we've got one more floor left to get to 80. Yo, we might be able to. <gasps> there it is. There's the ladder. We're in the lava floors. And we got a new dagger. Yay. Is it better at least? It's a little bit better, I guess. Let's see how it fights. It's a little bit better. It looks like a little candle. That's cool. I do want to see if we can get any quartz from here. Oh, there's a ruby. I'll take that. I want to get some fire quartz though really badly. So we're needing that for recipes. <gasps> there's one. And we can get some gold from here too. Oh my god, we might accidentally make it to level 85. <laughs> Probably not, but there is another ladder. Just give us two more freebies. Come on, game. Uh, Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to face off against three slimes. Yeah, no, I think um I know when to leave. Okay, let's bring everything home with us as usual and let's run our little butts home that was a good day we made it to 80 Woo! we've made it to the lava floors officially and let's head off to bed now and we leveled up in mining okay we have the staircase recipe that's good we'll be able to use that in a pinch woo money oh my god that's satisfying 888 gold i love that how did we manage to do that <laughs> oh it's another good luck day also we almost have enough for the sapling we were saving for we may go ahead and buy one of those soon because i think we had to plant it in spring so that it would produce in summer right i think we also have a recipe on the tv as well queen of sauce what is it today oh that's one we need yo that's really good the boys and granite salad mm. wonder what that tastes like <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure we need that one for the cooked bundle yes Heck yeah, so we only have two more to get out of these then. And hash browns I think we can buy, I'm pretty sure. So this is looking pretty good. We do obviously need to upgrade our house for this though, which I think costs like 10,000 is it? And like some wood. So we're actually pretty close to being able to do that. Maybe I should upgrade my house first, I don't know. <gasps> Yo, we have kiwi pies to harvest. Let's grab all of those. And we have cold veggie berries. <gasps> Look how cool they look. And they will reproduce in five days. So we'll get one more harvest of these, I think. It's a shame they're not quicker. And our lime pears will be ready tomorrow. And these kiwi pies will be ready in three days. So the money is going to come rolling in. I think I might sell all of these kiwi pies to Pierre today. And then maybe we should buy the sapling. I think it was the artabob seed sapling or something. We'll see if that's needed. And the best part of harvesting all of those is it means there's less to water. Water. It's always the best part of a harvest, especially when you've overplanted, when you got overconfident and bought way too many seeds. Okay, let's pop off to the merchant first and then we'll go over to Pierre's afterwards. And it is still a good luck day, so it feels like it should be a mining day maybe. We will see if we have time to mine. Okay, what does she have for sale for us today? Ooh, the passion root. That looks so cool. So, so cool. And the Joja late seeds? What? Oh, there's the boys in granite. I wonder if we'll get that eventually though. What? The reflective flavor may make some go blind when tasted. Hello? How can this be for sale? That doesn't seem like a good idea to sell that actually. I don't think there's anything we desperately need really. I feel like we're going to get all these things. I keep telling myself that at least. I don't know if we're going to get them. Maybe I'm just telling myself what I want to hear. Literally everything in this playthrough is just a guess at the end of the day. Because I have no idea. It's literally random. I'm just going to sell all of these. I'm thinking like we don't have preserve jars yet. So we can't really preserve them. So I'm just going to straight up sell. <gasps> Yo, we have 12k. Okay, what should I buy? So I don't think we need like the stone sapling, coleslaw. The artabob seed was the one we were considering getting, I think. 
This needs to be bought in spring so that it can produce in summer. But the artabarb seeds, won't they become available to buy? Maybe that's a waste of money. I don't know. This is so difficult to know what to do. I'm going to Google when the artabarb seeds are available. Oh, do the artabarb, are they like usually rhubarb seeds? Maybe, because when I'm Googling, all that comes up is rhubarb. It doesn't seem like I can really Google this because everything's random. It only bears fruit during summer. So the last available day we can buy this is next episode. I'm going to let y'all decide in the comments, should I spend the money and buy this? Just to make sure we definitely get artabarb seeds. I'm pretty sure they're going to be available from the desert. That's what I'm thinking. Like Sandy is going to sell them. But just in case, should I buy this? Let me know in the comments what you think, if I should be on the safe side or if we should take the risk and hopefully they're sold by Sandy and then we save the 9,000 gold. Let me know in the comments because I'm not sure. I'm going to hold on to my cash then. I won't spend it yet. Okay, we're going to head off to the mines now. Although already half the day is gone. Time goes so quickly in this series. I blame it on the fact that we don't have coffee yet. So everything takes ages to do because we're so slow. Home sweet home. We are at the mines again. Into the lava levels. Oh, I wish I'd bought a bomb for this floor. Oh my God. Am I going to have to clear the whole floor as punishment for not bringing a bomb? Are you joking? Come on. Let me have a ladder. <laughs> I think the good luck day is lying to me. Oh, finally. Oh, our first time fighting these. What do they drop? Oh, just solar essence. Okay. Slightly disappointing. I definitely needed to bring bombs for these levels. Oh my god. Oh, mushroom level. Let's go. This will give us quite some money. Yo, so many mushrooms. <gasps> we got white algae. That's our first piece of white algae. Oh my god. Pie pumps of death. Great for walking in the ostriches. What does that mean? Please, these are like riddles. I feel like someone needs to embroider these. You know those cute little signs where it's like, live, laugh, love. <laughs> I feel like someone needs to embroider these. Great for walking in the ostriches. I mean, yeah, same. They're purple though, they look so cool. We look pretty badass right now. And we'd look even more badass walking in the ostriches. Whatever that means. I'm having so much fun in the mines right now because everything feels so new and exciting. I love it. It's almost as if I'm playing the game for the first time again. Like, I love this so much. Yo, we got a new dagger as well. It says it's level 13, but its damage is rubbish. Its speed is plus 154. Okay, I need to see this. I need to try this out. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so quick. Look at it. It's like a flash of lightning. Holy butts. Okay, well, speedy but rubbish. 85, finally. That took us a while, but we got a lot of cool stuff on the way down. I can't lie. We got so much cool stuff. Also, the purple mushroom is needed for the purple bundle, so that's good. We're still getting items to donate, which is amazing. Let's keep going and let's try and get to floor 90 today. See if it can happen. Oh my god, that creature looks so creepy with the red rock behind them. It looks like they've got demon eyes. Terrifying. Oh, they dropped bug meat. How random. We leveled up. Heck yeah. Leveled up in combat. Nice. Oh no, it's an infested floor. But luckily we got a ladder straight away. Yeah, we survived it. Thank you, game. The game is on our side today, I think. Okay, we don't have much time to try and reach level 90. We gotta get lucky here. Come on, where's the ladder at? Finally. Oh, and we got an Omni Geode too. That's cool. And a painful Teddy or street light. Um, okay, a level five club does crushing damage. Well, that's good to know. I actually really enjoy the daggers. I'm not gonna lie. They feel really speedy and they're quite nice to use. So I think I might stick with the dagger. I can't believe who I've become in this playthrough. I would never use daggers before. Okay, let's head home with all of our finds. We made it to level 90. Woo! I should go to the mines to do some fishing soon. That's definitely something on my list of things to do. Maybe the next not so great luck day, I'll do that. 
And I think I also want to kill some more slimes on the really early levels because they dropped squid ink, right? And that sold for a lot. So I think before the end of the season, I will probably go and kill a bunch of slimes on the top levels in the hopes of getting a bunch of money for seeds and stuff. I think that sounds like a good money making strat. And that's all thanks to the person who commented about it. So thank you. <laughs> okay, let's head off to sleep now. And we level up in farming. And apparently we got the bee house, even though we already had that recipe. Okay, game. We're just getting the same recipes. It's kind of annoying because we haven't gotten the preserve jar yet. And like, I would like one of those so we could actually start making some money from jams. But okay, we'll have the bee house twice, I guess. And level four combat as well. Bug steak. I wonder what it's going to use. We'll have to check that recipe out. <gasps> oh, and we got level five mining as well. Oh, which one should I go for? Miner or geologist? I'm not going to lie. I don't think we're really struggling with ore, especially because a lot of the recipes don't use like copper iron and gold and stuff so i feel like geologists might be better for money and also for random gems some of the recipes like the mayo machine it used rubies so i honestly think geologists might be better for this playthrough so i'm gonna go for that it's also more fun right and uh, we made like barely any money but that's okay day 22 of spring baby and what is the luck gonna be it's another good luck day marnie's birthday do we need to befriend marnie I don't think we do. Oh, it looks like it's raining today, so no watering is needed. So we can go straight to the mines. Oh, our little cat has stayed in bed today. That's so cute. All tucked up in bed. Oh, hi, Demetrius. Oh, is this going to be about the cave? Oh, which one should I go for? So I definitely think the fruit bats makes more sense because like mushrooms is just going to be the same old boring stuff, right? Mushrooms or fruit bats? I think bats. Let's go for bats. I feel like that would be more exciting things, surely. Hopefully I've chosen a good one. I don't know. Okay, we have lime pears to harvest. Let's grab these and hope that we get a gold quality one. <gasps> Yay, we got one gold quality. Phew. I was very worried then. I need to go and donate that to the quality crops bundle. But for now, I'm going to head straight to the mines and get a full day in of mining. Oh, should I check the cave first, actually? I don't think anything will be there today. But let's have a look. No, nothing's there. I'm going to have to start checking that like every day. I don't know what fruit would be in there, but maybe it will give us stuff that will help for like winter foraging and stuff. And maybe we'll finally finish one of those foraging bundles. Also, what is the rain today? I don't even know what these things are supposed to be. They kind of look like lightning rods, but brown? I don't know, the rain looks funky and I hate it. I made it to 95. I think I might go to the top levels and try and work on getting some squid ink. I kind of fancy doing some of that. I've missed the top few levels. Oh, this level's infested. Level 11. This is a good floor to just repeat then. I'll just get like a load of drops from all these enemies. Okay, we spent the whole day just grinding in the mines. We managed to get another ancient seed, which is amazing. We got like 100 void essence that sells for like 5k. Got some squid ink, some oil. I feel like it was a good day. I quite like the strat of just grinding those top levels for monies. You don't make tons, but like it's a fair bit. Okay, I'm going to run home now and drop everything off and sell everything too. That is like the most we've made in like a day, I think. Okay, so we can sell the squid ink, the oil, all of the void essence. I'm going to sell the aquamarine and the amethyst too, because why not? And the solar essence I can sell. We got a bunch, honestly. And we can make another ancient seed and plant this down straight away. Let's plop it next to the last one. I also need to smelt some of this gold ore because we haven't got any gold bars yet. And I do need another chest for overspill at this point because we have so much stuff. Okay, but for now, we're going to head off to bed. And tomorrow is the final day of the episode. Yo, we made so much money. 7,000. That's a good day in the mines. I can't lie. That's better than fishing for sure. And it's another good luck day. We have 20k. Yo, I really want to get the kitchen upgrade. I can't lie. But today, I think I'm going to try and do a spot of fishing. I want to start the day by opening up all of the geodes and donating them because I think that's long overdue. I can't believe we've gotten two ancient fruit before the end of spring and in my no buy challenge I didn't get one at all. I feel like that is so cruel. We're definitely not struggling for money right now but also it's because I don't know what to spend it on like I don't know what to buy yet. Usually I would have bought like a coop 
and some animals and stuff. But like, I don't know whether we need to or not. So I don't really want to waste money on a coop if we don't actually need it, you know? Ooh, our kiwi pyres will be ready tomorrow. That's really great. So these kiwi pyres were basically going to buy us seeds for summer. That's why I planted them. So whatever money we make from them, I want to save for summer seeds. But we literally have loads of money already. And we have a new strap to earning money, which is just to repeat the top few floors and just kill loads of monsters and sell their loot. Oh, it's the flower dance tomorrow. Oh yeah, well, we can't ask anyone to dance. That's going to be sad and lonely for us. We might be able to buy the daffodil from there. So it might be worth us going. If it has the normal stock, I think daffodils will be available. So I think we'll go for that. Okay, we can donate a couple things and open these geodes. I also want to check our bat cave as well, see if there's anything in there right now. <gasps> Yo, a blackberry and a plum. I think we need both of those. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, good. Heck yeah, we're going to get so much stuff for the community center. Bats was definitely the way to go, especially because we can get mushroom levels in the mines. Okay, let's go and donate a bunch of stuff to start with and then over to Clint's to open geodes. Okay, we have the mushroom for the purple bundle. And we have a blackberry for this bundle too. Oh, I think we needed another blackberry for the winter bundle maybe. I'll have to run back and get that. And I think we can go and buy speed grow as well. So we're only missing one item for the purple bundle. And then we have the lime pear for the quality crops bundle. <gasps> Wait, we didn't need the blackberry for this because we have now completed the winter foraging bundle. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Yay. Oh my God, what? Our reward is 999 hardwood. Now I feel so silly that I bothered upgrading my tool. Yo, I might just sell that. Look, it sells for 14K. Yo, I'm going to sell that and buy the house upgrade. And we should unlock the mining bundle now, right? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is the best end to the episode. Ah! Okay, we can go and check what these bundles are. Oh God, here we go. Here's the moment where I come back down to earth because these are going to be impossible. Are they all going to be Skull Caverns items? Please no. Let's see what they are. Okay, we have a monster bundle. Okay. That's not terrible. We have just sold a load of Void Essence, but we do know how to get it back quickly. This is so doable. I can get that done in just like a few days. Random. Oh my god. Okay, piece of copper ore, sugar, pine tar, spaghetti, perrin soup, fiber, emerald, dwarf gadget. But this is so possible because there's only four items needed. We easily have fiber. We can buy spaghetti and sugar we can buy and then copper. This one's pretty much done. And their metal bundle. Okay, that's slightly harder. We need seven items for this. So probably the iridium bars are going to be the item we leave. Everything else is doable. Iridium ore is going to be tricky, but it will come eventually when we do the bus bundle. This is not terrible. We've got loads of items we can bring now. Okay, whilst I think about it, I do want to come and buy some sugar and also some speed grow because they were needed for those bundles. I can't sell my wood here, but I'm going to sell it at Robin's for sure. And now let's go over to Clint's and open up these geodes. Hello, Clint. Please process these geodes for us. Okay, there's the copper done for the bundle. <gasps> Iridium as well. So we need 10 pieces in total, I believe. Okay, first lot is done. My inventory is full, so I'm just going to quickly go and donate this. We only have a few more geodes to open after this as well. Hello, Marnie. I can donate everything I've got to you. Yay, a bunch of new rewards as well. I'll go and finish opening the geodes at Clint's and then we'll come back and get those rewards. It's me again, Clint. Hello. Four more geodes to process. Give us something cool. Okay, hopefully we at least got one thing from that. Let's see, let's see. Can I donate anything? Yeah, we got three items. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll donate all of those and a new reward. Let's go. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, it's nothing useful, but cute things nonetheless. Okay, next I want to run up to Robin's and sell this 999 stack of wood. I should check how much is needed for a house upgrade first, because actually you might need hardwood for that. Hmm, let me check. She's not even here. No! Of course she's at Caroline's. Okay, well she's burst my bubble. Thanks a lot, Robin. Ruined my good day. At least that's something to look forward to for next episode then. I think I'm going to quickly run home and drop off all of this random stuff we've accumulated and then do one more community center run with all the stuff that we have sitting at home in chests. 
because obviously we have a bunch of the stuff needed for the mines bundles. So I'm going to donate that quickly and then we'll finish the day with some fishing. Yo, so much jam packed into this day. I'm over the moon right now. I can't lie to you. I feel like this challenge is going pretty well. I still don't know if it's going to be completable, but it's going pretty well. Okay, I've got all the items that we have to donate in all of their random weird quantities that they're needed. So I'm going to run and donate these. Okay, so we have the bat wings for the monster bundle. We don't have anything else yet, but we can easily get all these items eventually with a little bit more mining. We have the sugar for this bundle and we also have the fiber. Oh, I forgot the one piece of copper ore. That's okay. We'll get that eventually. And we have the metal bundle. We have the iron ore. We have the copper ore, the copper bars, iron bars, and the gold ore. So we just need two more items for this. And finally, we have the speed grow for the purple bundle. So one singular item left for the purple bundle. I can't wait to get it. I can't. And now finally, we can fish. I think that I'm going to do some mines fishing today. I'm going to head to floor 60 and see if we can get the fish needed for that level. And also the white algae will be an additional bonus too. I should really upgrade my rod in the next episode maybe. We definitely have the money for it now. Especially once we've sold that hardwood. <gasps> Yo, we got it. The Perrin. That was what's needed. Oh my god. Hello. Why has today just been the most luckiest day ever? What the heck? We've got Elvish jewelry, two fire quartz, and two emerald, which is also needed to be donated. What? Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, we have the coiling, which is found in the mines. I feel like this might be a lava level fish. And we also have the gostum, which is found in the mines as well. So we're on the lookout for those. We also haven't fished at level 20, so maybe I should try fishing here too. Okay, we've got a fish on the line. Let's see if it's a community center needed fish. What's it gonna be? What? Oh my god, it's see-through. A flownlet. Yo, it's so cool. What the butts? It's see-through. That is the coolest fish I've ever caught, ever. I'm just going to keep switching between level 60 and level 20. I think the lava level is 100, right? I don't think we've unlocked that yet. The lava fishing level. Let's see if we get a different fish here. Oh, the flountlet can be gotten from each level. Maybe all of them can be gotten from each level. I don't know. I just know that there's three fish that we need to get from the mines and we've gotten one of them. These fish also sell for quite a bit. So honestly, mines fishing is not a bad idea. Okay, we managed to get a couple more of each fish, but we didn't get any new types. So one is donatable. The others I can sell. This day was so good though. It felt like so much happened. I'm feeling very optimistic for at least the mines bundles. I think we can get them all done. The hardest part will be the iridium, I think. But that will come in time. We just have to save up for the bus bundle. I'm going to sell some of these fish and I'll save the rest of them. And finally, let's head to bed for the final night of the episode. We made almost a grand. I think that's not terrible. We only fished for a few hours, to be fair. Day 24 of spring, one more episode of spring left. And it's a good luck day in Pelican Town. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Give me any tips and tricks and advice or thoughts for the final episode of spring. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. I can't wait to record it already. I just want to keep playing. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.